Hello friends, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'll teach you how to export an HTML table to Excel using jQuery in Inspiro.core. So let's start. So the very first thing, I'll open Solution Explorer. Now I am showing you the scripts folder in the project. As you can see, it has the jQuery table to Excel plugin which will be used to exporting the HTML table to Excel. For more information about how to use static files such as images, JS and CSS files, please refer to the video on the right hand side. Now let's move to the view. So now I am creating an HTML table inside which I'll add some fields. I'm setting the ID for the table. Now this is the fixed section that is the header row of our table. So here I am making use of th element which is the header element of the table and I will be creating three columns customer id, name and country. Now here I will be adding another table row and I am specifying some fields which will be displayed here. Before moving ahead, I would like to inform you that an article has already been posted on this topic. The link for the article and the code sample are available in the description. Also, if you need any further help, feel free to ask on forums. The link for the forum is also available in the description. Finally, I would like to request you to please subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon. So as you can see, our table is also ready. Now we will start the second part which is exporting the HTML table to Excel. So now I am adding a button. I am setting the ID. On the click of this button, the HTML table will be exported to Excel. Now I am inheriting two JavaScript libraries. The first one is jQuery and the second one is table to Excel jQuery plugin. Now I am adding script tags within which we will write the code to export the table to Excel. Inside the script tags, I'll start by adding a jQuery document ready function. Here I am referencing the button and I am assigning it a jQuery click event handler so that when the button is clicked, this particular event handler is triggered. Now I am referencing the table using jQuery selector. Next I am applying the jQuery table to Excel plugin to the HTML table. Now I am making use of a property called file name of the table to Excel plugin. It is used to set the file name of the Excel file which will be downloaded. So that's it, the plugin has been applied. Now we can run the code and check it. The data has been successfully displayed in the HTML table. Now I am clicking the export button. The browser is showing the option to save the file. As you can see the HTML table has been exported to Excel successfully. So with this we come to the end of this video. Thanks for watching. Please like, share and subscribe and don't forget to click the bell icon. Goodbye.